Alright, we're going to do this quick review of adding mixed numbers. So I'm going to do this problem two different ways, looking at 13D7. I'm going to do it two ways. First, I'm going to do it the book way. So when you're adding mixed numbers, so anytime you add fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So I'm just going to leave these as a mixed number and make a common denominator with these fractions. Remember, when you make a common denominator, you take this denominator, multiply it to this fraction, then take that denominator and multiply it to this fraction. So I can take my denominator with a 5 and multiply it to that first fraction. Then I can take this denominator of 8, multiply it to that fraction. Whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do the denominator or vice versa. If you do it to one, you have to do it to the other. So I'll still have my big number 3. Uh, multiplying these fractions, 3 times 5, 15. 8 times 5, 40. Okay, leaving your big number. Now multiplying these fractions, 4 times 8, 32. 5 times 8, 40. Now you can see I have a common denominator. So we're adding. So add your big numbers, 3 and 1, 4. Now when you add your fractions, you only add your numerator. Numerator to numerator, 15 plus 32 would be 47, and your denominator stays the same when you add fractions. But that becomes an improper fraction, so I have to change it. 47 over 40, same thing as doing 40 into 47 goes one time with a 7 remainder and that becomes your new numerator. That's always the same denominator. So we take this and add it to the 4 plus 4. So then adding my whole numbers together, 1 plus 4, 5 and 7 fortieths. So, and always make sure that this fraction can't reduce, which it can't. I'm going to do this another way to where I will end up having all this at the end. Okay, so I'm going to do the same problem again, but the second way I'm going to do it is to turn these into improper fractions. Personally, I like this way the best, especially when it comes to subtracting fractions. Turn both of these into improper. Remember when you turn them to improper, you're multiplying these two numbers here, then you're adding that top one there. So 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. So that would be 27 eighths. And then I like writing, adding fractions horizontally. So turn this into improper. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. 9 fifths, and all matter stays the same. So when you make a common denominator, take this number and multiply it to this fraction. I usually use a dot to show my multiplication. Take this denominator, multiply it to this one. Whatever you do the denominator, you have to do the numerator. Then you can see we're going to have a common denominator of 40. So here, 5 times 27, 135. Nine times eight, 72 over 40. Now when you add fractions, you just add your numerators. That would be 135 plus 72, 207. Keep the same denominator, you do not add your denominators. Now change this into um, back into a mixed number, which is 40 over I mean, not over, 40 into 207. 207 divided by 40. The most times 40 goes into 207 is 5. 5 times 40, 200, because 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract 7, so that becomes your new numerator. 7 and then 40, your denominator always stays the same. So 5 and 7 fortieths, which is the same answer we got before. Okay, we're going to do 13D19. Mr. King cut 4.5 tons of hay from one field and 3 and 3 eighths tons from another. How much hay did he harvest in all? Okay, in all. Keyword, add. So if he cut 4.5 tons from one field and then 3 and 3 eighths from another, 
we have to add to find out how much he did in all. I am going to work this as improper fractions because then I don't have to go through the extra step at the end of adding a whole number to a mixed number. So changing this to improper. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1, 9. That's the same thing as 9 over 2. Denominator always stays the same. 3 times 8, 24. 24 plus 3, 27 over 8. Now when you make a common denominator, so I can do 2 times this one and 8 times this one, but a shortcut is can I turn 2 into 8? Is there something I can multiply to 2 to make it 8? Yes. I can multiply it by a 4. If I multiply that by a 4, it will become an 8. Therefore, I don't need to change this fraction. But back over here, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. Okay, so this new fraction becomes 4 times 9, multiplying straight across, 36. 4 times 2, 8, plus 27 over 8. When you add fractions, you only add the numerators, 36 plus 27. If you need to go off and do it to the side, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with coming over here and doing it off over here to the side, okay? So that will end up being 63, so over 8. Then change this back. The book will change it back into a mixed number. So that means 63 divided by 8. 8 into 63. What's the most times 8 goes into 63? Uh, should be 7 because 8 would be 8 times 8, 64, too many. So 7 times 8, 56. Subtract 7. So your remainder becomes the new numerator. The denominator always stays the same. So 7 and 7 eighths, it's a word problem. What does that represent? It represents tons of hay. So seven and seven eighths tons of hay.